Good day. Today I'll be showing you how to set up the Volt Select logic for a TG410 or 350. For this example, I'll be using a TG410 product. To start, go to Switched I.O. Here, under Switched Inputs, you'll need to select two inputs to be your Volt Select 1 and Volt Select 2 logic. In this example, I've already set them up. Note that once you've selected your Volt Select 1 and 2 logic, be sure to select a trigger that works for you. I typically set up as battery positive, but battery ground is just as good. You could ignore battery ground or open. Those are essentially non-applicable. Once you have two inputs selected, you'll then need to go to the AC monitor. Here, you'll need to go to voltage source. You'll need to select auto select. And this will open up the auto nominal menus. Here, you'll be able to set up your single phase, three phase group one, two, and three or designate group 2, 3, and 4 after the single phase. When setting this up, you must know if you're wired up A to C or A to B for your single phase. Put in your three phase voltages accordingly and you'll be good to go. As you can see, there are tool tips here that tell you what your inputs need to be inactive or inactive in a given position. So voltage select group 1 for your single phase is when both are inactive. Group 2 is when volt select 1 is active and volt select 2 is inactive. And 3 is inactive and active. And 4 is when both volt select 1 and 2 are active. From there, you can set up your set points for AC voltage warnings and failures. And it works essentially the same as a normal gen set would at that point. And that's all it takes.